Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So today I'm going to talk about a very interesting editor called Visual Studio Code from Microsoft. So are you ready? Let's get started. So the first thing to do is to download the program. So I'm going to my browser and all I have to do is th th just to type uh, this uh, link here. Or you can just go to Google and look for Visual Studio Code. The first link you get actually will allow you to download the install program. Okay. So here I'm using Ubuntu Linux, so I have to choose the Debian file. So I click on it, and it's getting downloaded. Once it downloaded. I get this file here in my download folder. As you can see here, the file is called code 1.8.1. So there are two methods if, if you want to install the Visual Studio code. You can just double click on this file here and you get redirected to the Ubuntu software. So you can just hit this button here and it will be installed. The second method is you can just go to your console like here and go to your download folder and you have to type uh, this command here okay so do the pkg minus i which stands for install and the name of the file you just downloaded okay so i'm gonna use this method because it's more convenient so the package is going to be extracted and installed. So it will look for the dependencies and all the files required for the install to complete. Okay, now it's installed. So after that I go to my search and all I have to do is just to type visual and I get this icon here. So I can click on it and the editor will be launched as you can see here i can even click here in this icon and lock it to the launcher so it will be available all the time in this launcher here okay so as you can see here it has a very simple interface with some buttons or links in the left bar here as you can see it has get integration we will talk about that it's actually a control version system it's very powerful so we'll talk about that later and it has also some debugging features and this button here actually with which allows us to install extensions or plugins for example if you are working with specific language C++ or Python or something like that you can just click here and add any extension that will help you to improve the code editing for your program okay so you can here you see a lot of extensions or plugins for different languages so you can install later okay so I will just open this test file here which is, which is HTML file so I can just open a file and go just to see how it looks. So it's a simple HTML file as you can see. So actually Visual Studio Code is open source, program, free and cross platform. So you can install it in Linux and Windows, of course because it's Microsoft product or in Mac OS and it has some great features that we'll talk in the upcoming uh, videos and also it, ha it has Intel Sense integration which is autocomplete so it will autocomplete some code for you for example here for the style for the background color I can just remove that one as you can see here it gives me a lot of other colors and at runtime so it will help me to find out 
which color I'll, I can choose, for example, I can choose blue or white if I want. So it's a really nice retip. It's convenient and very fast, so that was just an introduction to how to install this uh, magnificent code editing program. I hope it was interesting for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye!